të dashur të leshikusë televizionit të Shqiptarve të Amerikës, angazhimi i bashkadetarve tanë në politikën Amerikane, qofta të lokale, po edhe në të qëndrore, është do mos do shmëri, është do mos do shmëri për diasporën Shqiptarve të Amerikës në këtë moment që jemi. Ne duhet të i bashkojmi betejave politike të shtetetve të bashkuara, sepse jetojmë këtu. Jemi në komunitetin tonë, por që komunitetin jonë, interesat tona komtare, edhe të diasporës, por interesat tona komtare në përgjësi të të gjohen më mirë nga miku jonë i madhë shtetetve bashkuara të Amerikës, ne duhet jemi involved in politics, se që tonë Amerikanët, duhet jemi përfshirë në politikë dhe pikërisht sot kam përfituar nga rasti që para disa ditësh grupimi i republikanëve konservator zhvillojnë një takim me dy kandidat për prokuror njëri dhe tjetëri për administratën e njëri në Oakland County, njëri në Macomb County, që unjoa me këtë grupim. është mirë që një ne, media shqiptaro-amerikane të paraqes angazhimin e shqiptaro-amerikanve në jetën politika amerikane. Kam sot dy tëftuar, kam sherifin e Oakland County, zotin Mark Stanaj, kam edhe nonin Gojqaj, aktivist, por edhe punon në industrin e shqitjes së makinave, Me gjitha të sot kemi ardhu për diska tjetë, kemi ardhu natyrisht edhe për angazhimin tuaj profesional, por kemi ardhu për të folur për situatën politike në shtetet e bashkuara dhe për nevojen për angazhim të shqiptaro-amerikanve. Natyrisht, në këtë mes, unë kam një good news, si që tonë Amerikanët, zoti Mark do të vej kandidaturën e ti për presintin e Oakland County. Për më teber, le t'i apin fjallën si më i mëshuar Markut. Mark, është kënajsi që t'kam në studio, por duhet t'i themi diçka bashkadetarve. Angazhimi juaj në këtë grupim të republikanve konservator është mjaft pozitiv, është mjaft i mirë pritur, por natyrisht edhe angazhimi juaj drejt për drejt. Ju keni gati 27 vjetë më thatë që jeni marë me law enforcement, jeni me shërbim në Oakland County, por kërkoni të bëni diçka tjetër, kërkoni të angazhojeni to be involved in politics. And we're starting with you in English, because you have a long time that you have been born here, and you have a... 26 years, you told me that you are in law enforcement, that's, that's you know. Correct. That is correct. I was born here. I've been with the Sheriff's Department for 26 years. I've served and protected the citizens of Oakland County. Um, but uh, during that time, especially in the last few years, uh, I've been just more involved in politics, uh, more so in the background, uh, just paying attention and um, and reading news articles and sharing information with my circle of friends, with my family. And I just, uh, you know, as Albanians, we are, uh, we are very conservative. Uh, we are very family oriented. We're very hard working. We don't look for, and I think I can speak for uh, the majority of Albanians when I say this, we don't look for handouts. We are some of the most um, honest, hard working people uh, that I know of. Uh, having said that, uh, my, my values are very conservative. Um, I, I, I believe in God, I, I believe in family, I believe in limited government, in lower taxes, in, in less intrusion uh, from the government in our daily lives. And uh, because of those ideals, um, I, I consider myself a conservative Republican. We started an organization uh, Mark Jokai is, uh, is the one that actually um, deserves most of the credit for starting the organization. Uh, the Albanian American Conservative Republican uh, Organization. It's a group of like-minded conservative Albanian Republicans who for, for quite some time we were 
working in the, in, a, in the background, so to speak. Now, uh, because of the condition of our country, the massive inflation, the, uh, the invasion uh, at our southern border, uh, the increase in crime, we are becoming uh, more vocal. Uh, we, uh, we are becoming more involved in politics. And um, I think that uh, we, have, uh, we have a lot of members. We are adding more members to our organization. And we want to increase our participation uh, in, the, in the political uh, arena uh, and, and just um, get people to be more involved and more active in, in politics. Because there's a saying that um, you, can, you, can avoid, uh, you can avoid politics, but politics is not going to avoid you. So I think that everyone needs to be involved, whether it be talking to your neighbors, talking to your family, and getting them involved and educating your, your family about what's going on in our country. And so with that, um, we seek to um, just uh, be more involved. Yep. Um, so. No, Nick, uh, you share the same values uh, with Mark about uh, being a Republican, about uh, f political feelings, about the economic situation that everyone uh, is affected of. You work on the, uh, as a car seller at, uh, at a dealership in Troy. And at this dealership, do you feel your customers uh, are feeling the burden of inflation. I know that the value of cars is the reason. I know the value of the, of the all used cars is a reason. But I know, I want from your point of view, what is the situation? So yeah, most definitely I share the same values as Mark. Uh, we started our conservative uh, Republican, uh, American Albanian conservative group. Uh, as far as uh, your questions to inflation, uh, yeah, inflation is just, uh, uh, it's rampant right now. Uh, the price of cars shooted up 23% uh, used cars. It's up uh, since this administration came in. Uh, the, not just the price of cars, price of everything. Price of steel, price of uh, wood, price of everything. You go to the store, you see hardworking families, they are struggling to pay. Grocery prices are through the roof. Uh, this administration, for what they are doing, they are not helping at all. So um, uh, life in general got much harder. You got people working two or three jobs to be able to afford their groceries and paying the rent. Rent went up. Every year it's going up. And everything is going up right now as far as price goes. So, uh, we haven't seen anything that this administration that did to help. Uh, working families like we are, uh, we are going through a, a big economic uh, downturn right now, and we are heading for for a, for a big big uh, uh, recession or even a depression. If we don't do something about it, this is going to get worse and worse. And we are seeing. I saw a commercial about EV elect, uh, electric cars. In the commercial, the value of the electric car it was. 35,000 new car. And they said, okay, you can get 12,000 down from paid from the government or paid. And people still, with these incentives, they do not like the electric cars. Not that I am against the concept of electric cars. Uh, does the police have electric cars or not? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> not that I'm aware of. <laughs> that's Thank reason. God. That's the reason. Now, I'm not against having clear air and so on, but you have to, you have to be uh, living in the economy, living with a cap capitalistic point of view. If Don't force the client to buy a vehicle that he doesn't like, that doesn't have the options to power it up, doesn't have the charging 
Uh, so I just I showed more question because I am interested on. Absolutely. Uh, so when it comes to electric cars, uh, uh, what we've seen right now, it's a trend that all of these car manufacturers, they are trying to go that way because they are being forced by the government. So that phrase, they're forced, uh, we do not like that. We like to have a choice. We have to have a choice. You can pick a gas car, hybrid car, even electric car. They don't bother me. But the problem is they are trying to push this and cut all of the gas. So right now, Ford, they just came with an article. They're losing $100,000 in production per car on electric cars. So they're cutting down. Toyota said, we are not going to do it. Uh, they seen it the other way. We're going to do hybrid. We're going to do still gas, but not electric. I work at a Subaru store in, for Suburban. We have our EV, EV car. That's one of them. It's called Subaru Solterra. We haven't sold. We barely sold few of them. They are not reliable. Um, the charging, you know, you, you can get about 250, 260 miles, but do you want to keep charging? If you take a long trip, you take to Florida, you're going to be stuck charging your car so many times. So I'm not against electric cars. I think they can do it, as I said, but we should have a choice. So talking about the uh, establishment policies towards law enforcement. I'm talking with you, uh, Mark. No long time ago, and still we're hearing again, defund the police. What is this policy? What is this stupid idea? The reality showed the need for, for police. Even those congressmen of congresswomen who were uh, doing fan for def uh, defund police. After that, they need security and they pay a lot more money for their own security. What is this? I want, what is the behavior? What is the feelings of you uh, co-workers of the other deputies there and about this idea to defund the police? So myself and uh, many of my coworkers, uh, we we think it's a um, it's a very dangerous uh, policy. They've enacted uh, cuts to police forces. I know in Austin, Texas, uh, there's other agencies. And one of the one of the common themes with the defund the police, uh, it, from what I've noticed, is that it, it's coming from the Democrat Party. I, I don't know why. I can only speculate as to why they want to defund the police. It's extremely dangerous. It endangers not only the citizenry, uh, the business owners, but it also puts law enforcement in danger because now you have less resources, you have less officers to patrol a certain beat or patrol a certain area. Uh, it causes uh, morale to go down. Uh, it causes uh, fatigue because now you have officers that are working longer hours. Uh, you have officers that are being overworked. Uh, so the, um, the defund the police movement, it's, uh, it, it was horrible. I, I hope that, uh, that people remember uh, what the, these politicians did when it comes to voting time to go and vote. That's one of the reasons that I'm a huge Trump supporter is that I remember when Trump did an interview with Oprah 24 or 26 years ago, he was sitting down with Oprah and he loved police. He praised the police. And Trump maintains that same love and respect for police. Whenever you go, uh, whenever he goes to a rally or if you see him on television and he's getting off the plane or he's getting ready to depart, you will see him uh, thank all of the police officers because it's not only the Secret Service and federal law enforcement that is duty bound to protect Trump, but you also have the federal law enforcement working in conjunction with local law enforcement to ensure his safety. But you always, you always see him and oftentimes with the mainstream media, they will omit that and they won't show him thanking and uh, all the officers, but you'll see that I've seen it all the time where he'll go down the line and he'll shake everyone's hand, all the officers' hand. He has a great deal of respe respect for police, uh, and I, in turn, have a great deal of respect for him. 